There is a territory war going on, people, and I am claiming it back. In today's video, we're going to try to make a recognizable portrait using Skittles. A while ago, we did some Bob Ross paintings with pudding. Yep. And from the channel Draw, Draw with Jazzer. Jazzer. This is awesome YouTuber who does tons of cool art stuff. And I've been following him for years. I love this guy. She's talked about him before. He's done several Bob Ross style things. So he watched ours and angrily was upset that we were infringing on his territory. King of random will not be the king any longer. He then did a painting with like sauces and stuff. It was, well, it wasn't just sauces, it was all condiments. And he was yeah. like mixing things to get the right textures. He lost all of the reds at one point. It was a great video. In Playful Retaliation, I had a different artistic project I've been wanting to do. So today we're going to try to make a portrait out of Skittles and using Skittles as the color for the picture. Mm -hmm. Because he brought this upon himself, we are going to do a portrait of Jazza. You're up Jazza. Here's the basic idea. We're going to see if we can use Skittles as sort of giant pixels to draw a picture of a person. Will it be recognizable when we're done? How good of resolution are we gonna have? First, what we need to do is show you how it is that we're going to be getting the colors that we're going to be using. So I have my computer and we're going to do some stuff on Photoshop and walk you through at least kind of how to do it. We're not doing full Photoshop tutorials. I'm just showing you the basics of how we're getting this done. Um, and then we're going to start attaching Skittles to this board in a grid, much like pixels. So here we go. Right, let's get my computer. Why well, yes, I am going to touch every single Skittle that will be on this portrait. Oh, it's fun, they all make different clinky noises. This is fun, I'm making music. Music and art, yay! To start off, I've just put Jazz's name into Google Images and our goal is just to find a good picture to work with. Ideally, since we're doing a portrait, uh, we do want something that shows all or at least most of his face and something that's really good with these is if you have a decent contrast because if everything is like really nice light and even then it's really hard to reduce down to just five or four colors um, if you have higher contrast with darker areas and lighter areas it really does work a lot better so we've got a couple that i'm looking at here um, we, this is just from his website drawwithjazza.com a decent portrait shot of him uh, it may be a little too light in places, but it could still work. And then there's also this shot, uh, which I, I, it does have a little bit more of like the contrast. It's darker over here, lighter over here. So I think we'll try it with both of these and see how we like it. So I'm just going to copy this image. Here's one of the next things we want to figure out. We have to figure out how big we want our whole portrait to be. And so since we're using Skittles as pixels and this board, I need to see how many pixels wide this board is. So I'm going to do some measuring now. Okay. So it's not we, very wide. We can fit 40 Skittles wide. So we know that we're going to want our picture to be reduced down to 40 pixels. All right. There is a 40 by 60 ratio for that picture. And this one, I believe, is already in 40 by 60 ratio. So this is sort of the shape we're going to get. And now I'm going to take out the background. There's lots of ways to take out a background. And how exact and picky you want to be with this is totally up to you. For the most part, you should remember that everything is going to be reduced down to 40 by 60 pixels, which is very few pixels. And so if you lose out on a little bit of definition, it's probably not going to change much. Now this one, as I pointed out, like we originally chose this one because it did have a lot of highlighting, but I think it might be just a little bit. I'm just playing with the levels here just a bit to get some higher contrast, some darker darks. This one doesn't need much in the way of lighter lights. I'm pretty happy with this one in, in terms of colors. So let me show you how I'm going to do the coloring thing. Let's see, I'm gonna grab one of each of our Skittles colors just as a visual reference here. Over here, I have this layers palette that I leave here all the time in Photoshop there is a gradient map and that's what I'm going to be doing. This gradient map tool. I add this and what this does is it takes whatever it thinks of as like the darks to the lights, like going from darkest to lightest, it replaces those with other colors. So for example, you could say, oh, anywhere on this original picture that is black, 
I want that to be blue. And then you can just choose a nice blue color and the very, very blackest parts of the image will turn to blue. And you could say, and anywhere that's white, I want to be a pale seafoam green. And then it will go from dark blue to seafoam green. And it, it looks just the same in terms of like looking like the person, you're just changing the color. So what we want to do down here at the very darkest, that's going to be our purple Skittle. So we need to find a good color that looks very similar to our purple Skittle here. Let's go a little bit redder, take out a bit more color. All right, I think that's pretty close. It's not necessarily 100% correct, but we're just trying to get a general idea for how it's going to look. So we've got that added in. And I'm now going to create another stop just by clicking underneath this gradient line and it will automatically make it the same purple color. So now we have anywhere from this dark to this dark is always going to be the same shade of purple. And again, we're using Skittles. There are other varieties of Skittles, but we're just using a single pack. We have five colors. So now what we need to do is add our second color. We started with purple, that's going to be the darkest. Now I've played around with this and the green Skittle, I don't think that the green fits in nicely with the gradient. If you go from purple to red to orange to yellow, it seems to get lighter every time. Green isn't really darker or lighter uh, than, than like the red and the orange. It's just kind of there with them. And I've found it ends up just looking muddled. So what I'm just gonna do is the green is gonna be our background color. And we're just going to use the purple, red, orange, and yellow for the actual image. So what I need to do now is add a new stop. I'm just gonna click right here. And that one will originally be purple, but I'm gonna go in and change it to being red. Approximately the color red of our Skittle, which is not the brightest red, but it's also not super dark. So here we go, we're gonna go for red, and then we're going to take this and we're going to drag it so it is right up next to us. You can see if I have it spread out, then we get a gradient from purple to red. We don't want a gradient, we want it to just go from completely purple to completely red. And if I put them right next to each other, it just gets rid of that gradient entirely. Now I'm gonna click again. That's going to make our red area. So we've got our red bar. And then next to that, we're going to start adding an orange area. All right, we've got our orange right up next to our red. Let's extend our orange area. And now we're going to go to yellow. So we add another stop. We take our color, we try and match it to the yellow. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. This is just to get an idea for how it's going to look. So now we have an image and you can see it goes from purple up to yellow, but I think that the balance is a little bit off. I think we've got too much yellow, there's very little red and very little purple. So what we can do is start playing with these. I'm going to, to move up both the yellow and the orange, so they're still right next to each other. Ah, see that's taking out too much. So you just get to play around with these until you're like, yeah, that's a good balance of all the colors. So I've got too much orange in here. Let's take out some orange by moving the bottom orange and the top red up. You can see that brings more red into the picture. So now we go to resize the whole image. And I've got it set to pixels and I'm going to put in a width of 40 pixels. And so this whole thing is just pew, shrunk way down. And if we zoom back in on it, we can see more or less, that's what it's going to look like. Every one of these squares, instead of being square, will be a circle, it will be a Skittle. The main thing that I wanna change is that my background has completely bled uh, into the face, the skin tone. And I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna have green for the whole background. So I undid the size change, it's back to where it was, and I'm just going to flatten the image, and then I am going to select all of the yellow that isn't his face, and I'm going to just turn it green right now. All right, we've got our background. Now let's, again, go back to the 40 pixels wide. Now we've got our breakdown. I'm quite happy with the look of this, and this is where we're gonna go with it. It's set to the 40 by 60 pixels. That should fit pretty well onto our board. So now I'm gonna start drawing a grid to keep all of our skills nicely in line, and then we're gonna use this as our guide. All right, we've got our grid, we've got our skittles, we've got our glue. We are going to accept that it's not a perfect grid. Skittles are not a perfect uniform width, and so in our measuring process, something's changed a little bit sometimes. That's okay, it's a guide. We'll, uh, we'll try and adapt, try and make it work.
Guys, you can make uh, Skittles portraits. Pretty easy. It was fun. Yeah. Um, it was. It was a few hours of putting all the skills mm -hmm. down, doing it by yourself. You know, only one person at a time. It would take about twice as long, of course, but... Maybe four hours, I would say. It's a very doable thing. Hopefully my tutorial through Photoshop was enough to show you how to turn a photo into the colors that you need for the Skittles. This worked great. The hot glue does a very good job of holding onto the Skittles. It really likes Skittles. In fact, when we had to do like repair spots, it was sometimes difficult to pry, like the Skittle would leave some shell behind, so it bonds quite nicely. Mm -hmm. Guys, that's not all. You should definitely go check out Jazz's channel, and if you like this kind of content, remember to hit that button to subscribe so you never miss out on the fun. We'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.